Hi everyone. Beautifully pointed on the top, powerful on the bottom. When we called the first bike in this style Vader's Fist, it was quite well received. Film villains have long since been better accepted. We can reinvent ourselves. With the Radical Queen we're the good guys for a change. The customer wanted pointed tips. Maybe that gave us the idea to give the street bob a feminine name. It's the Radical Handlebar that has those pointy tips. It looks a bit feminine, but it sits imperiously on the Radical 2.0 fork and it takes some hard engineering to get its line to meld with the necessary control lines. The trick is to avoid protruding cable loops. On the right, the problem is solved, after all, the Milwaukee 8s have no throttle cable at all, they are drive by wire. On the left, the solution is a hydraulic clutch, which allows a steel braided cable to be routed closer to the handlebars. How ironic, Harley changed the clutches on its Milwaukee 8 generation to old-fashioned Bowden cables, which don't work too badly. But we turn the tables and put the clutch back under hydraulic control. Why? Because the customer wants it, because we can do it, and because it looks better. After all, looking good is the most important thing on a motorcycle. Beautifully pointy at the top, powerful at the bottom, with a 340mm diameter brake disc. The tightly braided steel lines for the brake and clutch are set off from the tips of the handlebars. Radical Fork Our reinterpretation of the Springer Fork adds character to the Royal Lady. The Radical Handlebar does not require risers. It can be mounted on the Radical Fork as a single piece. The stretch tank holds 15 liters. You should be able to go 200 kilometers without a forced smoke break. The body hugs the shorty fender. It hugs the 180 rear wheel. The brake disc is on the left, behind the pulley. This gives a view of the ground hubs of the FLH wheel. Can it maybe be a little bigger? We had the perimeter disc in the program for the rear. But we didn't use them because this is a lady, a queen, and she doesn't want a big butt. So we converted the rear of the soft tail to a disc brake behind the pulley. The slim line is accentuated by the short fender, held in place by our proprietary struts, that hugs the 18 inches FLH rear wheel like a form-fitting dress. The rubber has a straight 180 width. It's really slim and looks particularly regaled with the white wall tires. Our stretch tank is painted and crowned by cruise design. It emphasizes the sleek lines and brings us back to the front of this sensational radical fork. Yes. This is our take on a classic Springer fork. We've had it in our range for a few years now, but it's got the makings of timelessness. Our customers keep asking for it. Anything but timeless, for the new millennium, is the Air Ride, which we have installed not only at the rear but also at the front. The Radical Queen rises and falls with the mood of its owner. She kneels submissively and presents the tips of her handlebars like a crown. Monarchy is still contemporary in the new millennium, it is even radical and without any bad attitudes.
Thanks for watching.